Today's makeup tutorial is a naturally glam look, all about enhancing your natural beauty, nothing too heavy, just a soft contour to the eyes, perfect for any special occasion. For the skin, I'm starting off with Benefit's Professional Pearl Primer. This is the Radiance version of the original Professional. It's still a soft matte finish, but it's supposed to give you a nice brightening effect. So it's still oil free, it's still lightweight, it gives you that silky smooth texture, but with added soft pearly hues. For foundation, I'm using EX1 Cosmetics. If you followed me in my early days of YouTube, you'll see that I used to use this foundation a lot. Back then it was available in Topshop, now it boots in the UK. So I believe there are now 13 shades available, which is a lot more than they used to have. It's a lightweight, luminous base. You'll be pleased to know it's oil free and fragrance free, and it's also non-comedogenic, so it won't clog your pores. For the eyes, I'm going into Too Faced Natural Eyes. This is the original palette, they've just bought out a new version. To prime and neutralise my eyelids, I'm using Soft Ochre Paint Pot by MAC. I'm using mini face sponge to work that over the eyes. I have dampened my sponge, which makes blending that into the skin so much easier. You'll find with paint pots they can be quite drying out of the pot, so if you've got a damp sponge to push it into the skin with, you'll get a nice finish. Although paint pots are designed to set on contact, when you've used a damp sponge, it's better to set that in place with a powder. I'm going to use the Vichy Derma Blend. To set that in place, I'm going to use my NYX Pro Blending Brush, and I'm going to dust that over the entire eyelid using circular motions. Doing this is going to remove any tackiness from the surface of the paint pot, which means we'll get more of a seamless blend with our eyeshadows. If ever you get an uneven finish to your eyeshadow, it could be that the surface is slightly tacky. So here's what the eyeshadow palette looks like up close. We've got some beautiful neutral tones. So the first colour I'm going to use is called Cashmere Bunny. To work this colour into the socket, I'm using the NYX Pro Shading Brush. It's dense and fluffy, and when you turn to the side, you can see it's slightly thinner. We're going to use this to our advantage by pushing this into the socket of the eye and working the brush backwards and forwards. The best way to do this is to look down into a mirror and just push your brush into the socket. It will find its natural way backwards and forwards. And you just want to reapply that colour, building it up slowly, going backwards and forwards across the entire socket. Then I'm going back to the Pro Blending Brush and I'm going to work this over the top, blending that colour into it becomes no longer as intense and then we're going to reapply the colour to build up the intensity. We want to keep blending it out so it becomes really seamless, but we don't want to take it up towards the brow, you just want to work your blending brush backwards and forwards directly over the eyeshadow placement. People are always complaining that their eyeshadow starts to look muddy or that the socket line has gone too high, it's because you're blending the colour up and out. You just want to blend it directly over where you've placed it until it becomes soft. Once it's become soft, you can then reapply some more colour and then once again go back in with your blending brush and repeat the same process. If you've got slightly hooded eyes, then use smaller brushes to create this look. If you've got quite small space between your lid and your eyebrows, then this look might not be for you. It's all trial and error. I'm now going in with the deepest eyeshadow in the palette. This one is called Sexpresso. It's the darkest neutral brown. I'm using the same pro shading brush, but I'm working this on the outer third of the socket line, tracing over where we've applied Cashmere Bunny. Once you've placed that on the eye, go back in with your blending brush and work that directly over the placement until it's softened again. Slowly but surely, you'll start to see it really building up and it's giving this soft contour to the eye. It's nothing too heavy. It's creating this false perception of a shadow that wasn't initially there, which makes the mobile eyelid look more prominent. I've probably repeated the process about three times with both colours, but you can build it up to whatever intensity you desire. You can go heavier, you can go lighter, it's really down to personal preference. I'm now going in with this duochrome top coat by Natasha Denona. This is in the shade Nude. And I've found the best way to apply these is using your finger. I'm now just patting this directly over the mobile eyelid. This is going to keep it really neutral and just give it a hint of sparkle. If you prefer, you can add an eyeshadow to this area before you apply the top coat. As I said, I want something that's naturally glam, something that isn't too intense. I want something quite soft for eyeliner, so I'm going to mix Duraline with the Sexpresso. And I'm going to use the angled liner side of the NYX Pro Dual Brow Brush. And looking down into a mirror, I'm going to line across my top lash line very close to the eyelashes. This has added some definition without it being overpowering as an eyeliner look. Every step's optional, if you prefer a liquid liner you can use black or brown, it's completely up to you. You don't have to follow every single step. This brush is super fine so it allows you to create a nice wing on the outer corner. This is the NYX Pro Angled Brush, the reason I didn't use this for the eyeliner is because this one's quite stiff and when creating eyeliner you need a little bit more flex. But I'm going to use this brush with some eyeshadow to pull up off of the eyeliner and this is going to elongate the eyes ever so slightly and just subtly accentuating them. 
Using this espresso and the same angled brush, I'm going to take that underneath those lower lashes on the outer third, using what's left on the brush to pull through to the centre, and then we're going to blend that in using our fluffy blending brush. Along the waterline, we're going to use Teddy Cole Pencil by MAC. This is a brown with a pearl finish to it, it's really beautiful. I'm going to take that all the way along the waterline, we're also going to use it to tight line the eye. Then I'm going to go in with Benefit's Roller Lash Mascara. I'm going to use some false eyelashes, but if you're not a fan of falses or you don't get on with them, then make sure you apply a couple of lashes of mascara. If, like me, you get a little blob of mascara on your eyelid, just leave it to completely dry and then use a cotton bud to knock it off. The worst thing you can do is try to remove it when it's wet. Off camera, I filled in one of my brows just so you can see the difference. I'm going for a really nice natural finish. If you missed my brow grooming tutorial, I will link it on screen for you. To set the hairs in place, I'm using Benefit's 24 hour brow setter. And this is a clear brow gel with a really nice comb. I always use the short side of the comb. This makes the brows go quite crispy, which is really good because I tend to touch my brows all the time. And when they're crispy, if I touch my brow, I know to get my hands off of them. So this helps keep them in place all day long and brushing them upwards creates more texture and just makes them look fuller. And that's why it's my favorite brow gel. False eyelashes I'm going to use today are by Esquido. These are in the style Lash Named Desire. If you'd like to see my tips and tricks on how to apply false eyelashes, I do have a tutorial on in it, including bottom lashes, so I will link that on screen for you. So going back to the skin, I'm going to start off by using Urban Decay's All Nighter Waterproof Full Coverage Concealer. This gives a flawless matte coverage, and what makes this different from the original Naked Concealer is this has got 73% more pigment in it. So if you're looking for coverage, then definitely give this a go. It comes in 14 shades from light to deep, and a little bit goes a long way. It does work better if you tap it in with your finger. This was the first time I was using it and I tried it with a sponge, but it definitely goes on better with your finger. And it really does last all evening. Next, I'm going in with my Becca Multitasking Perfecting Powder. And I'm using the color beige just around the perimeter of my face. When I don't want something intense like a bronzer, but I do want something that's like one shade darker than my foundation or my skin tone, then I'll use this. This can be used as a setting powder, as a foundation. It does give you coverage but it's quite natural and that's why I like to use it in the daytime. For blush, I'm using this brick by Diego Della Palma and I believe this is called Sunset Boulevard. It's a peachy tone and I'm gonna use a mix of all the shades. I'm using the NYX Pro Contour brush to apply this. NYX haven't sponsored this by the way. I received the brushes this week and that's why I'm trying them out. For lips, I'm going in with this soft peachy creamy satin lipstick by ASOS called Unbridled. And then around the edge, I went in with ASOS's lip liner in the shade Sturdy, which is a neutral beige tone, which is really lovely as a nude combo. That completes my naturally glamorous look. It's a brilliant way to enhance your natural beauty without looking over the top. Remember, every step's optional. You can add or take away any elements of this look. If you replicate it or do a version of it, please tag me in your photos over on Instagram. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments section below. I love to hear from you all and I always do my best to get back to you. If you haven't subscribed already, you can tap on my photo to subscribe to my channel. If you've missed my previous tutorial, that will be on screen for you now. And if you'd like to follow me outside of YouTube, my social handles are on screen. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye.